The Blackmagic 12K cinema camera is a game changer for the Hollywood feature film industry. In this video I will go through my initial impressions, review the tech specs and compare the camera to the Red Helium 8K and film cameras. Also, I will discuss how Blackmagic Design's 12K cinema camera will revolutionize video streaming services with the help of the new H.266 codec. This is as well as mentioning the implications for today's cinemas and IMAX theaters. Many were anticipating a release of an 8K camera by Blackmagic in the next few years. However, it appears an 8K digital cinema camera was right around the corner, after the release of the Pocket 6K in August of 2019. It was only a matter of time until an 8K cinema camera was released by Blackmagic, because 8K is already supported in DaVinci Resolve. Also, the Blackmagic RAW speed test application has allowed you to test 8K RAW playback on your computer despite the lack of 8K cameras available. This mythical 8K Blackmagic design camera had been making the rounds of speculation on social media such as Twitter. This is unsurprising as Blackmagic already has a host of 8K post-production hardware equipment like their HyperDeck Extreme 8K HDR or their ATEM Constellation 8K for those production companies needing 8K solutions. Blackmagic was said to be putting all its chips on 8K with numerous production tools and DaVinci Resolve 16 at NAB 2019. The company also already has an eGPU to use with your Thunderbolt 3 edit computer so you can have the graphics processing to handle 8K if you need the help. Blackmagic even has monitor solutions or 4K proxy recorders in their brand new Blackmagic Video Assist 12G HDR. If metadata can be shared via 12G SDI and file names that match between the camera and video assist, then you have a 4K proxy recording option for an 8K camera. With Canon finally waking up and releasing the Canon R5 which can record uncropped 8K RAW video at 29 frames per second, and Sharp's never sold 8K MFT sensor camera, I guess the 8K Blackmagic camera was imminent. However, no one was expecting a 12K camera with an 8K option, to shoot in 200 frames per second. This camera even makes the once popular Red Helium 8K look too expensive for what you get. RED has been a leader when it comes to the battle of resolution, with two 8K cameras available, the RED Monstro 8K VV and the Helium 8K S35. Blackmagic's closest competitor being the RED Helium 8K offers a Super 35 35.4 megapixel CMOS sensor capable of shooting at 50 frames per second. However the Blackmagic 12K camera offers 8K resolution shooting at a whopping 200 frames per second. The camera's PL mount makes it ideal for Hollywood directors wanting to use their PL lenses much like on the Blackmagic Ursa 4.6K. This is along with the Super 35 sensor similar to the Red Helium which is ideal for producing films. The difference to the Red Helium however, is obviously being able to shoot 12K content for IMAX similar to 35mm film cameras. In fact, you could now buy an in-home 12K 64-inch cinema display for $4,500 less than a Red Helium. This would be through combining four Apple Pro XDR displays to create your own 64-inch IMAX 12K display for $20,000. So does this mean IMAX theaters are now obsolete? This is true if you can produce and playback 12K digital video files without the need of old and expensive film cameras plus an expensive projector. For example, film cameras are more expensive than even the Red Helium, with the Panavision Panaflex Millennium XL 235mm film camera used on J.J. Abrams' Star Wars The Force Awakens costing just north of half a million dollars. This makes the IMAX camera one of the most expensive in the world. But I guess this gear was warranted due to Star Wars The Force Awakens being the fourth highest grossing film to date. Nevertheless, the Blackmagic 12K camera offers significant savings for any future Star Wars films or any other blockbusters once shot on film. Future films from the popular sci-fi saga are likely to change to solely shooting on digital cinema cameras as 90% of sci-fis are shot digitally. You can imagine the 15% of Hollywood film directors who are still using old film cameras, converting to a digital camera such as the Blackmagic 12K camera. This would launch Blackmagic design into the Hollywood market gaining a fair share of feature films, which was once dominated by competitors who owned 50% of the market only a few years ago. 
The conversion of film camera users to the Blackmagic Digital 12K camera could enable Blackmagic Design to gain higher market share than Panavision who own 8% of market share, and even Red who own 9%. This would potentially make Blackmagic Design the second most popular camera brand in Hollywood. Moreover, with the introduction of the new H.266V VC codec, video streaming of 8K and even up to 16K is said to be arriving to streaming services such as Netflix, Disney Plus and YouTube soon. The new codec should debut later this year. Through H.266 VCC reducing the file sizes of 8K footage and Blackmagic RAW reducing the file size of 8K and 12K footage for high-resolution video production, a future where a film shot in 12K Blackmagic RAW files and edited in DaVinci Resolve to then be exported as an H.266 file for efficient streaming, is now possible. And with a 12K display at home, IMAX quality movie streaming is set to become a reality. With Apple's new spatial audio headphone feature for their AirPods Pro, both the Pro Display XDR and AirPods could simulate both the visual and audio quality of IMAX at home. Blackmagic isn't only offering an affordable 12K camera, they are actually offering a more cost-effective and faster way of producing 12K films. This comes at a time when the $42.5 billion global film industry is facing closures of cinemas due to the pandemic. With Artemis Fowl, Trolls World Tour and Scoob releasing their movies on streaming services and abandoning the cinemas, there has never been a better time for significant reductions in the cost of both movie equipment and the process of producing films. Fortunately, Blackmagic is offering these cost savings through providing a faster and more efficient alternative to using old and expensive film cameras, and the associated costly process of using analog film cameras in comparison to digital. Blackmagic RAW is also a part of the magic in reducing the cost of production of 12K content through enabling more 12K footage to be shot on fewer SSDs. This is as well as speeding up the process of transferring, downloading, editing, exporting and streaming 12K content. Also, 8K RAW files have been shown to have higher playback speeds in popular editing software such as DaVinci Resolve. Streaming services are also slowly becoming the destination for Oscar winners such as The Irishman, of which Blackmagic products have already been used on a significant amount of Oscar-winning films. For example, Netflix has begun to transform the big-screen movie model as in 2018, it had 8 Oscar nominations and in 2019 it had 15 Oscar films on the platform. Through offering a more affordable digital 12K camera, it makes the future of movies being released in the comfort of your home on streaming services closer to being a reality. Disney's chairman and head of studios Alan Horn recently said he sees a world in which at least mid-tier movies go directly to Disney Plus rather than cinemas. There is now a stark contrast between a future where films are provided by streaming services and filmed with 12K Blackmagic cinema cameras, compared to movies previously film cameras currently being preferred in distribution via cinemas. Is 12K overkill? Will you be upgrading to an 8K camera soon? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the notification button for future videos.